Hey, what's up everybody? We are working on the S10 still. Uh, you can see we switched sides the other day. It rained half of the day yesterday, so I got pretty much zero work done. Uh, I did actually, uh, now that I think about it, I got these, uh, these spring hangers that are usually right here, hold the front of the leaf springs, and these have to move back about, uh, as listed, eight and three quarters inches. So we'll see, uh, I've got a mark on the bottom of this one and the bottom of that one before I punched them off. But today I've got the uh, welder, so we're going to be finished welding these, get the C-notches on nice and good. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the suspension work with uh, without cutting this out as much as I can, and then I'll just cut that out last and put on the inside uh, to box it in. But once I finish weld this all the way around, it should be nice and sturdy, and, uh, and we'll be able to, to move forward with everything else. So. That's the plan. I'm going to try and get this cross member put in as well. We got it painted up, so that's uh, it's ready to go. But yeah, it's just step by step. So here we go. To handle this welding job, I borrowed my friend's Lincoln 140 MIG welder. I've never used this machine before and went off the settings he guessed at when I was picking this thing up. Now, previously, I used that uh, that junior welder I called it from Harbor Freight which is only a 90 amp welder so this thing has gas it's got much more power let's see what we can do with it I've watched enough videos now to know that it's best to move around from spot to spot to help prevent any warping Now I stop and I put the camera on these welds, thinking I've created something fantastic. But if you look, they're pretty cold welds and not getting the penetration needed. Uh, this, this bead was just kind of globbing on and, and really what I found out was that, uh, that the, the wire speed was just too fast. And I had already completed the driver's side, I had ground it down, I had shot some primer on it to keep it from rusting. Uh, I wrapped up the welding for the day and then watched more videos. I came back, I decided that I wasn't getting the cooking bacon sound that was common. So the next day, I ground off all of the welds I had done and slowed down the wire speed and went back at it with much better results. These images are of my second attempt and not only was the puddle uh, more of the dime look that I wanted in some spots, uh, but you can see the heat penetration spanning much further from the top uh, down to the sides. So I got approval from my friend after texting him some pictures. I went on and ground these down, shot some primer on them, and felt much more confident about this thing actually holding the weight of the back of the truck. All right, guys, we're back. We got a couple minutes. It's been kind of a crazy week. We've got music gigs all week, every night. Um, we've got a sick child right now, but the sun is up. It's uh, it's about 30 degrees outside right now, but we're gonna make the best of it. We've got to get the leaf springs removed from the old axle. Those nuts are just nasty, rotted on there and just rusted on. So we're gonna break out the angle grinder while it's daytime and cut the old U-bolts off and we'll get to work. These tight spots make for tough camera angles, but I made a few relief cuts in the actual U portion of the U-bolt. All right guys, so a couple minutes later, we got, uh, let's see up in here, we got a slice right there. Move on this side, we got a slice right down there, one on each side over here. So the leaf spring is fully dropped from, uh, it's fully detached now from the axle. We just need to actually get those bolts out, so I'm going to beat them 
twist them, do whatever it takes, get them out of there, and get this leaf spring and, and uh, rear shock mount off. After breaking out the, the hammer and beating them into submission, the springs are ready to be removed. Next, I needed to reposition the rear end while almost dropping it on my foot, but it's in place now and we're ready for the next steps. All right guys, that was quick today. We just got the leaf springs taken off the axle in the rear. And uh, yeah, do what you can, little bits at a time, and that sets us up to be able to start doing this five link in the back end. That's it for today, see ya.